Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn your computer into a space heater and honestly just heat your room using your computer. I'm recording this video because I'm kind of cold, well actually my hands are cold, so you know I thought I'd show you guys how to solve your hands being cold. <laughs> so first you're going to need Furmark. Um, I had one of my friends download, download this one day, and they actually downloaded it from, let's see, this one, Geeks 3D, and their computer detected it as a virus, so, um, I've always used, um, Ozone 3D. It doesn't matter which one you use, but I'm just telling you I recommend Ozone 3D, that's the one I'll have in the description below, because my friends have detected this one as a virus. So, Ozone 3D dot net slash benchmark slash fur or it's in the description so then we have it downloaded here and you'll see it's loaded up so then what you can do is you s set it up um, if you have a 1080p monitor like I do you choose 1080p if you have 4k you do one of these <laughs> um, 4k it, it sh it, you'll figure it out then for maximum heating abilities and computational heatingness, check full screen, but for this case we're not going to check full screen. And then, you see the CPU burner here, you can click on that. And this will max out your CPU usage, which we're not going to do in this video, because we need the CPU to encode the video. So um, I'll just start it here for like two seconds and watch my wallpaper. Give it a second. Okay, it's not affecting the recording. Odd, but okay, we'll stop that for now. Um, then what you can do is go up to your stress test, graphic stress test. Um, if you want the max heating ability, turn it up to 8x MSA. And then click GPU stress test, and then the encoder will go crazy. Um, the stuttering is because of the encoding of the video. But you'll see, it's already 53 Celsius. So, you know, 54. So this is how you heat your room. Um, if your computer comes with a, or if your graphics card, if you have a computer with a graphics card, comes with a software, turn up your fans all the way. Um, click apply, and then the same thing with your CPU fan, case fan, all that stuff. Turn those up all the way. This is not a necessary step, but it will definitely help heat up your room even faster. <laughs> I'm stupid sometimes. Um, so yeah. Well, actually, ideally, with your CPU, you don't want to just have it on, or with your GPU, you don't want to have it on, like, turbo. You just want to go into your advanced settings, turn it all the way up, click apply, and then you'll see going about 3,000 RPM. Well, it will be. Um, so, I want to show you guys how you can tell if this is the max computational heating abilityness. Um, <laughs> so, basically, all you gotta do is click GPU stress test after this loads up. This is speed fan, um, by the way. This isn't necessary, but click go, um, tab into speed fan. So you'll see our GPU is 43 degrees Celsius. And then if we start the CPU bunch thing, um, you'll see that <laughs> they're both kinda struggling. I'm not sure how the encoding isn't dropping right now, but whatever. So you'll see we are heating up my room using my PC. And if I stick my hand next to the case fan it's already warming up so that's how you heat your room using your computer thanks for watching